Okay. Hi. Hi everyone. Um, is it starting? Is it? Know. We can't even see the. I know. I think it is. Anyhow, uh, more technical difficulties, which is usual for us. This yep. is Tanya, then I'm Leslie. <laughs> We're from Mindscape 717. We have tried to go live and that didn't work. Um, and now we are <laughs> just gonna upload a video um, for the podcast. We haven't started the podcast yet, but today we're gonna talk about our travel to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Um, some of the culture that we found. Uh, we're gonna unbox a mystery international fun box from Grandpa Joe's, which is part of the culture here in Pittsburgh. And um, we're gonna do a few other things and talk about some keywords that, that we learned. Yeah. Um, and we'll probably use from uh, now on. We'll anyway, try. <laughs> anyway, I think we're gonna go ahead and start the podcast and um, we'll be there in a second. Okay, so just hit the red button, right? Yeah. Hi. Hello everyone, Mindcast 717 with Tanya and Leslie. And we are in the Pittsburgh uh, today. We took a road trip and we thought we'd take you along for the ride. Absolutely. So we've been posting um, on TikTok, on Instagram, a little bit of our adventures. Um, we've had wonderful food. This hotel is really nice. We've had a really good experience um, so yeah. far. So because of culture and what we're talking about, we did want to maybe spend the first of the month talking about that stuff. Um, and I just saw on social media that, that October is Depression Awareness Month. Um, so just kind of still maintaining the world of mental health within our conversations. Um, today, we're going to do fun things, but also right, always keep in mind the mental health aspect of it. But culture is going to be the thing for today. Exactly. And so let's talk about Iron City, which is Pittsburgh, um, and um, why we decided to come here. We decided to come here for multiple reasons. One is- um, if this is recording. Is it not recording? I don't think so. <laughs> nope, it's stopped recording. Why would it just stop like that? Hello, this is Tanya, I'm Leslie. We're starting all over again because something happened with our um, recorder. So um, we're Mindscape 717. We are in Iron City or Pittsburgh. We did a road that's trip. as far as it goes. It just goes all of this and that's it. That's weird. Well, let's just continue. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time that we've taken it on the road and I think we are learning. Um... Maybe we should do voice memos and just record us on voice memo. Uh, okay, we could try. And then that way, who Where's knows? the voice memo? Um, I don't know, it should be in with your stuff. Oh. <laughs> with my stuff? Yeah, with your stuff. <laughs> this is an interesting one, isn't it, folks? This just sucks, because we're really trying. difficulties. But I mean, I guess it's good to learn when we do take it more on the road. Yeah. We will have to accommodate for these things because I'm very honest. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. Go to your search. My search? Yeah. There you go. Found it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Since she hasn't used it, now she's got to sink it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so now we are recording, so take 10. Take 10. God, this is Leslie, this is Tanya. We are here with Mindscape 717, that's our podcast, and uh, we are talking about a road trip that we've taken to Pittsburgh or the Iron City, and we are doing several things today, several things as in we are unboxing a mystery fun box, that's an international fun box from Grandpa Joe's here in Pittsburgh. It's a candy shop. We're going to talk about cultural words that we learned. We're going to talk about um, places that we've eaten. Uh, we're going to talk about the hotel. We're going to talk about um, different things uh, with mental health. And we also found out recently that it is October is... Oh, Depression Awareness Month. Yeah. 
So that's, that's what we're, we're doing today. Hopefully, if we can get through this. Anyway. <laughs> God. Okay. Anyway, um, we are um, having fun. We're having yes. a lot of fun. We decided to come to Pittsburgh for several reasons. One, because my daughter is here, so I wanted to see her. Mm -hmm. um, she goes to Pitt, um, and uh, this is her last year. And then also the waffles that Leslie yes. talked about for like a month when we decided to come here. She texted me, she's like, let's go to Pittsburgh. I said, uh, when are we going? Yeah. And then she's like, well, we're going to eat waffles. I said, oh, yes. of course we will. That's... Now, now there's a story behind that because I am gluten-free mm -hmm. and you're dairy-free, right? Or you try I to try be. to be. Try to be. be. Mm -hmm. Try to be. So, but, but finding gluten-free waffles is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. So, hey. That are good. If any of you out there yep. <laughs> you know of gluten-free places to eat, well, let us know. We're even yeah. dairy, dairy-free. We, we want to know. But yeah, so we were having fun. Um, we did go to Waffle and Caffeinated, which is amazing here. In which is where the gluten-free mm -hmm. waffles are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I put pictures on TikTok, so if you want to find them, you'll see them. Oh, so good. And then we had Bellinis there. And I we had Bellinis. Bellinis. The Bellinis mm -hmm. were fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we've had a drinking and eating tour. <laughs> amazing. So good. Everything so far was, has been fantastic as far as food is concerned. So we started out, we, we decided to stay at Hotel Indigo in Oakland, and um, we, we like it. It's really yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. um, very nice. Their food is good here. We they get have, the breakfast. Yeah. Oh, it's they delicious. They have an outdoor patio on, this, mm -hmm. on the top floor, and then they have a little patio on the first floor. Um, in the front and, and back. Unfortunately, this is a season of lantern flies, which we don't get back home. And Thank lantern God. flies are disgusting. Ugh, and apparently gross. they're invasive. Um, so um, there's a lot of chemicals like trying to get rid of them, I, th I think. Um, but uh, but they're all over the place. They're so gross. Yuck. They get all over the place. So that's the only like wool thing. Yeah. But um, it's not like Pittsburgh can help it. So, True. <laughs> so we don't blame Pittsburgh. <laughs> it's just disgusting. That's it all. is. It is. And it's very irritating because they fly and they jump and I feel like they're attacking. It's the worst. I hate it. So one of the things, uh, one of the, some of the terms that we we learned um, yesterday, because we went on this strip where it's like just a really great area of Pittsburgh where there's like markets and shirts for sale. And I think a Pittsburgh game was playing. Was it the Pitt or Pittsburgh? I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, one of the teams was, was playing, so um, everyone was wearing Pittsburgh shirts or some sort of shirt uh, to say there's support, which I love. I love to see that support. Um, but we were walking through these markets and we were heading towards Grandpa Joe's, which is a, a candy store because Miss Tanya over here. I'm addicted to candy. <laughs> love a candy store. I kind of blacked out and I lost my mind in there. I don't know how much the total was. I just gave my card until it was swiped. That store is amazing, though. Oh. So if you get a chance, Grandpa Joe's. Oh my God! No, no awesome. we are not sponsored by anybody. We're oh, just no, no. telling you, yes. like, where our fun stuff. Yeah, Pittsburgh has a lot to offer, and these are all really good options. Because I know Leslie posted, like, let us know if there's yeah. any kind of suggestions exactly. and. Since no one posted, they were like, hey, how about all of these other things that we found? You try it out. And then right. Randy Land? We, after we went on the strip, we went to Randy Land. Randy Land is so cute. I mean, it's just like yes. this neighborhood, um, a couple of houses, a few houses, mm -hmm. um, but it's just amazing. It's all about peace, love, joy, um, but they have all this, you know, stuff that's, that you yeah. can go look at um, for free or for donations or, or whatever you want to do. But it's like so colorful. All the bricks are different colors. And I think we um, took, you posted some I already. Did. Yeah, go I on have some TikTok, more on Instagram, mm -hmm. Mindscape717, you'll see some of the pictures. We'll post more pictures mm -hmm. too, but it's just sweet. It's just it's really sweet. nice, and yeah. Just, it just gave me a little bit of joy. I don't know how did it Yeah, I, no, it did. It's know? very like accepting, right? Yeah. Like there was a there was a little sign that said um support trans kids and mm -hmm. it had right like a little sign about neighbors and it was in Spanish and English and another language. 
It's like, we don't care who you are. We love everyone. Like, it's really sweet. It was a very sweet yeah. little, all of the things like we grew up with, with the toys, like the forgotten things. Mm -hmm. And they made it yeah. treasure. Like, they definitely put things together and make it really Very cute. artistic. Yeah. It's just a very artistic, very it fun is, way. Yeah. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. And then um, when we were on this trip, we learned new words. One of the words was yins. Um, and and I find that fascinating only because, you know, it's for y'all, yeah. for, for our for our area yeah. and for Southerns um, who say y'all, yins is, is the word here um, in Iron City. So um, it's really cool. Yins is gonna like this. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying. We We're so trying to, to figure it. out how to use the word. I still can't get it right, but we'll get there. And the other word is a really funny one, jag off. Um, and we just like that word. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> it's very similar to like jack off, but you were an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, we, we just think it's it's a oh, funny absolutely. word. I just think it's a funny word. So, so anyhow, and that's, it's good. Yeah. Um, uh, some of the things that we learned along the way is pickles is a huge thing here. Pickles, they have pickle festivals and- The candy like, store had a whole bunch of pickles Oh my God, too. pickles everywhere. Like, I'm like yeah. what the heck is this with pickles? And we learned that pierogies is a big thing here too. Oh, so, but pierogies- um, This is the shirt that I got. Yeah, you want to- Yeah, so these are the pierogies. And I kind of mentioned on the TikTok, but Apparently, according to Shay, her daughter, she was telling us that like pierogies here, during the fifth inning of a baseball game, there is a race, pierogies race, and they all have names and like they have. Apparently, this is like the story, right? They're, these are the ones that race, and there's always one that falls. This is <laughs> what happens at every game, every fifth inning. So it's like a thing here, and I thought it was so cool because there's no words on here, nothing. It's just the pierogies. So if you don't know, you don't understand. Because I was like, what the fuck is that? And she told us the story. And I was like, this, I have to take this shirt. I love a good story with the shirt. Yeah, exactly. And But but then again, we're talking about culture. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand that America is full of so many different yeah. types of cultures. Oh, absolutely. And so we're trying to bring that to you. Yeah. Um, and mental health, it gave us joy. Yeah. You know, absolutely. so it gave us joy to learn about these things and joy to kind of like go, you know, yeah. go around um, and, and find different places. I mean, we places. were sweating our asses off, but mm -hmm. it was it hot. Was, oh, it was hot. My shirt was, was really stretched hot. when we got back. We oh, were tired. We, were we had, tired. and then we had cider. Oh, yeah, and then we went and got, oh, the cider was so good. What was so the name good. of it? I don't remember the name of it, but I'll get it for you. I'll post it. That place was amazing. So yep. we had all, we, all of us had flights. Yeah. And some of us had mead because they had mead. Yeah. And oh my goodness. I mean, I haven't had mead in so long. Oh, Threadbare. Okay, Threadbare. Threadbare so, Cider and Meadery. Yeah. Really great place. It was kind of like in the middle of a neighborhood. Yeah, it was really you know, weird. but <laughs> it took us a very, it was very scary the way it took us. We're like, this can't be. Well, we found out there was a different way to get there, where there was a parking lot and everything, instead of through the neighborhood. But so we, ended we got up there. No outlet. Yeah. We were parked yeah. on the sidewalk. <laughs> I don't know how we did this, but we did this nonetheless. <laughs> but, but regardless, yeah. we had a lot of fun. Yeah. And they have this one cider that I'm so in love with, and I wish I had bought a bottle of it. And I told her, I said, Leslie, are you sure? And she said, no, no, it's fine. But we will be back, so it's fine. We'll yeah. take a couple of bottles next time. Exactly. Because it was really good. Like, the cider was good and all gluten-free. And then they have gluten-free pizza. They also have pizza there and some platter, like appetizers and stuff. It was really cute. It was yeah, a really cute place. It was nice. So we did that, and let me tell you some yeah. of the restaurants we went to. Oh, so yeah, the yes. first night, we went to oh we got um, Thai food. Oh, and I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember either. But oh my god, if anybody knows this, it's by Sinners and Saints Tattoo Parlor, and there's this Thai place like a couple doors down, and the food. Noodle? Noodle, noodle head, noodle head, noodle head. Yay! We remembered. Um, you know, but uh, 
it was freaking fantastic. Yeah. So that place was amazing. You could get oh, soup or you could so get plates and you know, whatever you want. Um, it is cash only, um, which I found was a, a really interesting yeah. um, thing because I hadn't seen that before. Mm -mm. Um, they had the ATM in there. Yeah, so which was, was nice. Fine. Yeah. It was good. The um, Thai iced tea with oh, Bobo. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Some of the best I've ever oh, had. It was delicious. It was, yeah. We all like drank it all up so quickly. Yeah. yeah. The food was fantastic. Yeah. We There was so much of it that we yeah. couldn't even finish it. It was, I yeah. mean, it was really good. It was so good. And the spice level was good too. <gasps> so good. And then it's like the traditional, like, tell me what level you want yeah. of spice. So it was really that. good. And then the next day, we had the waffles and caffeinated, mm -hmm. which was amazing. Gluten-free, dairy-free, yep. um, good for you. Mm -mm. Soy-free, keto. Yeah, exactly. All of the stuff. And then regular, too. So yeah. you can have whatever you want. And we had bellinis with that. And so I had the funky monkey, and you had the... It was a berry. Yeah. Something with berry. berries. And Mega stuff. berry or something. Mega like berry. That. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yeah, that place is amazing. If oh, you yeah. ever get to that, mm -hmm. waffles and caffeinated, fabulous. I was craving that. It's one of the reasons why we came up here. Because... Yeah, for a whole month I heard about these mm -hmm. waffles, and I'm like, oh mm -hmm. no, I see why you like these waffles. I got a dairy free one, and it was delicious. Yeah, so I'm good. gluten free. So if you all have recommendations, let us know. Yeah, I know I said this, um, but this is you know for our podcast too, mm -hmm. as well as our. Our video going on Absolutely. YouTube. So <laughs> anyway, um, so that was good. Mm -hmm. And then we, after that, we went to. We kind of worked backwards here. So mm -hmm. after that, we kind of did all of the things we just talked about, right? The Strip. we walked around. We went to cider, and then we came back oh, we after went cider. To Pittsburgh campus too. Uh -huh. so we yeah. kind of drove around the campus, and then we got home. We kind of relaxed a little bit. We needed a little. A little break before we went out to dinner. Girl, dinner? Dinner. Dinner. Condado oh. tacos. To die for, people. To die for Condado tacos. Mm -hmm. Amazing. They had this street corn guacamole dip that oh, was... Crack. It was crack. So fucking good. We, good. we all ate that one. That one was gone within a couple of like seconds we got it. Yeah. We got two other dips because we got like three buds or something and you get three options of the dip. One was a chorizo, one was a guac, and then the other one was a queso dip. Right. Oh man. All of them were delicious. They were so good. And then we had yeah. tacos. Oh. Yeah. Also gluten free. It's all, yeah. we can make anything exactly. gluten free there, which is really cool. Um, cause they have so many options. Oh. And then we yeah. had a pineapple margarita. And that pineapple margarita Ooh, was really good too. So it was very yeah. fresh. It was very good. Yeah. This is more so, of a food tour than anything. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. It was really good. We were stuffed when we came home. We couldn't even breathe. It was delicious. Yeah. There was tons of weddings going on this yeah, weekend. Yeah, there was. I think there's one going on right now, too. I would be surprised, yeah. I and mean, there was like three wedding parties here. <laughs> so, really so you could hear like the partying. <laughs> yeah, everybody was having a great time. Yeah, it was so great. cool. Yeah. yeah, everybody had a great time. And you know, one of them was LGBTQ, and yeah. they were just the friendliest, they nicest, mm -hmm. happiest group. I yeah. mean, it was it was really nice to see. Yeah. And then. Um, so that was it because we got back to the room and we didn't do much of anything else. No. No, we, they kept asking us to go to Tequila Cowboys or DeCavo, which are, I guess, nightclubs or something like that. Yeah. We're like, no, no, no. And they're like, but but all the parents go, you know, with us at one I point. And I'm like, the parents. see you later. Yeah. <laughs> you did get, you I got looped in. It's fine. I got called over at dinner. It's fine. <laughs> all about kinds of things it's fine. <laughs> we did ask my daughter and her boyfriend to come and be guest speakers um only because we wanted to talk about like cultural differences uh, she is half filipina and um he's a, a caucasian um and but but the thing is it doesn't it doesn't really matter they have a really chill relationship and um i think they communicate everything so um, I don't think the cultural differences are, are that bad. Um, 
and I'm not saying there's anything bad about, you know, two people coming together from different cultures. All I'm saying is um, they seem to be able to communicate things out rather than um, letting things kind of sit in confusion, which is really good. Mm -hmm. um, anyhow, should we unbox your mystery we box? So you might want to hold it up so they can see it on our video. Yeah. Um, but this is an international mystery box from Grandpa Joe's. And this is 82 plus may contain adult language. So I'm even more excited about that than anything else. So we will open so it. So we are opening it right now. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I just, I just shit in the woods hand sanitizer. Yo. Literally. I just said yeah. this is what it's called. And then there are these <laughs> pretzel sticks. One is sour cream and then another one with pizza. Oh my god. I'm excited. I wonder if and there's gonna be any pickles in here. <laughs> I would not be surprised. And then sour licorice pencils and then gummy puffs. Ooh. Which I'm excited about as well. Ooh, matcha. There's matcha oh. soft candy. Made oh my in god. Japan. Yum. Oh, this is freaking awesome. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, this is everything. Oh. Uh, Puchow? Puchow? It's gummy, gummy and soft candy. It's like gum, maybe? It was candy. Oh, okay. And then sour puff soda. <gasps> sour puff Blueberry puff. lemon. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh my god, there's oh. a lot in here. Shit. Oh yeah, there's another one of these. This is a melon flavor All candy. Right. And the other one was strawberry. And then this is Guinness Dark Chocolate. Oh, Guinness. Guinness Beer is it? It's in here. Too bad I don't like Guinness, but it's nice. What the hell? Flake. It looks like a chocolate bar. It does. It's Cadbury. Cadbury's Flake. All right, what the fuck is this? Ah. Grumpy old man. <laughs> oh, it's an apron. An apron. Oh, it's a bit, I don't funny. hope, but this is That cute. is funny. Maybe we give this to your mom. What? You're not going to keep it. Where? It's an apron. Who the fuck is wearing an apron <laughs> at my house? I'm not. I don't wear an apron. That suggests cooking and a uh, homegirl don't cook. So, no thanks. This is so cool, though. Okay. It is cool. I'm excited about all this candy. Anybody who goes to Grandpa Joe's should at least get Yo, this I, mystery box. And this isn't even half of what I got. I got oh, more no. shit in the bag. I kind of lost my. And then, because she would not be Leslie, she wasn't helpful and got me a fucking, uh, uh, what is it? What? The little basket, the basket. Oh. <laughs> I was holding things in my hand and I was She's like, like, I, I was hoping to more. just like grab and run. And, and I heard her daughter like, well, here's a bat. I said, all right, if you're going to make me you take it. You should show them what else you got. Oh, I got so much shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Oh, God, I kind of lost one. So some of this stuff obviously is not mine. I got it for my nieces and for my goddaughter. So to be fair. And then, because this is all over TikTok, this is the Warhead Sour Watermelon Soda, and I love anything watermelon. Okay. I'm about to get into this. All right, so. Yes. These are just gummy things that I know my nieces love. They're like the. Um, hamburgers. Yeah. This They're little hamburger gummies. This is, um, oh, Taco Tuesday. Oh, tacos. That's tacos. Tacos. And then this one is a movie bag. They're all little, all gummies. And these are all like nut free, gluten free, fat free. There's little like popcorn Yeah, boxes. little, how do you put the gummies in? My nieces love pizzas them. Yeah. And red licorice, it looks like, like yeah. French fries. Uh -huh. Yeah, cute? no, these things, they sell back home at Sweet Society in Woodbridge. Um, and that, I, I know they love those. Ooh, that so then good. I got, yeah, the Hello Kitty Matcha Green Tea Marshmallow. I love green tea and I was like, let's try it. Oh, these are from my sister. These are the um, watermelon rings with tahini, the chili and lime. These, they're supposed to be at Costco these days, so we'll see. And then I got, oh, for my nieces also. I got these little um, Happy Hippo Biscuits, Kinder, cause it's yeah. nut free. These are, these are for me. It says, go away, I'm introverting. And these are my socks. <laughs> this, these are my socks. There was all sorts of funny socks. So and funny. Things there. And Along then I with got all the pickles. Yeah, all the pickles. And then I got this Cocoa Pebbles candy bar for my goddaughter. She loves Cocoa Pebbles and I think chocolate. And then I got putty because on my desk I have Play-Doh, I have putty. 
my putty went gross, so I had to get a new one. And this one is chair, very cherry. Very cherry scented. Smells like cherry, so I'm excited. <laughs> and there's and more. <laughs> go two more things. So it says, <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. So these are little gum things, I don't, so here's this. It says, fuck me like the government. And then it says, I actually gave a shit earlier and you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> and these are little like um these are minty gums we just thought there there were so many of them so they knew where gums. to put them just put them by the register exactly. i wanted them all and i was like i need some i need some relax for a second so these are all the candies and obviously they're not all for me um, it's so funny as soon as she was done like buying it she like ran out of the store she's like if i stay I in the store i'm gonna have i can't more. And I kept walking around, I kept finding more things to buy, and I was like, nope, I gotta go. Because then I will spend, I will max out my credit card at this fucking store. And so, it was great though. Oh my god. And I, they had, like, not only, they had a whole roll of pickle, pickle stuff. Yeah. Pickle, everything you can imagine. Yep. Um, and then they had, um. They had sodas, they had, like, vintage sodas and shit. Like, the Warheads, yeah. and then, like, they had a toothpaste soda. Yeah. And I think there was like a pickle soda too. There was a pickle soda. It was yeah. really funny. Actually, I actually took a picture of that. That's kind of going well, on. Did you? I did. <laughs> I took a picture of that. So, um, like there was all sorts of weird names. And magnets cakes. too. Oh, mag magnets. They also had all sorts of candies like um, fudge mm -hmm. as oh, well they as did have fudge. Um, truffles. And they had ice cream. Um, I mean, this place had it all. Grandpa Joe's and Grandpa Joe's. Oh my God. It was amazing. So if you ever get a chance on the strip, I would go there. Um, as well as just kind of walk down the strip. We went into some art stores. Oh, yeah. um, and we went into like a, a wine store, which was really nice. Yeah. An, an olive, olive um, oil. Olive mm -hmm. oil and... Um, all sorts of things like that. So they had the hand. You can things. taste it. Yeah. You, yeah, you can taste the olive oil. They had samples Amazing there. different flavors. I think there was a pickled one there also. I was not it was crazy. But mm -hmm. um, it was awesome, actually. So much fun. Yeah. That's where we got the shirts. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, there was a lot to do on that little strip. There was a lot of different little markets and like shirts and Pittsburgh gear and all yeah. this stuff. And no, it was it looked it was really fun. It was really fun to kind of just see all of the things. It was like a true city. Like it's you could tell people from Pittsburgh go there like all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. and it was like really cool restaurants too and stuff. But yeah, lots of great restaurants. Yeah. Um, I think there was one called Luke's or something like that, but it was an Alaskan um like seafood place. Oh yeah. Um, and then there was Randall's, um, which is like a rooftop. Um, type of place. Yeah. It was just really nice. It was really cute. Yeah. yeah nice, mm -hmm. nice area. We oh, liked yeah. it. When we come back next yeah. time, I will do another Grandpa Joe's haul because yeah. I'm in love with that candy store. And you know, the thing is here is, you know, when we're talking about you know, clubs and things to do, there's a lot to do here. There's, yeah. there's pins. And Pins has like every, there's an arcade in there as well as a restaurant, as well as the bars, as well as all sorts of like different they have like a slide that comes down i'm telling you it's and like pinball and um shuffleboard and stuff like that but so do some of the um clubs like our daughter my daughter was talking about um um what was it bar 11. no they were talking about oh yeah bar 11 is different though um but the cowboy one. Oh, tequila tequila cowboy where there's like mechanical bull um and then yeah. there's like different areas that you could go to with karaoke mm -hmm. and um you know that kind of stuff uh so they were going there and to cavo um where it's like really nightclub-y yeah um and another word learned grimy <laughs> <laughs> First of all, they didn't share nothing because I we use grimy. Yeah, we do use grimy. But just how they were saying it was funny. But they were cute. And yeah, they're like, we heard it's a little grimy. I'm like, and? Right. <laughs> and they were talking about bar eleven. So next time we come here, we're hoping to hit bar eleven. Mm -hmm. Um, where it's supposed to be a lot of fun. They they were they're like, Well, you guys might like it. Oh, sir. Like, 
What are you saying? So, but, uh, <laughs> but, so but apparently, funny. like sometimes they have beach nights where they put yeah. sand on the floor, and they have like a little volleyball thing going on, and mm -hmm. and sometimes they do um, like a rain thing where they turn the sprinklers off. It's like all, all out for so, the So yeah, and apparently it's really cool. So next time we think we're gonna hit that one up oh, for sure. they say it's a lot you know more chill and the type of place that we would like rather than the grime <laughs> crying that's funny <laughs> we're gonna take that with us and start talking about things being grimy but here's the thing it's like you have to be true to yourself when we're talking about mm -hmm. mental health we have to actually be self-aware enough to know yeah um to be true to ourselves so we knew that we did not want to go to tequila cowboy or to Cavo. They really tried to. I they mean, did. it was sweet of them for trying, yeah, but was, they were cute. we were ready. We yeah. were ready to come back and lay down. The day had drained us. Yes. Something severe. It was just so damn hot, and we we're sweating, and then we had all the drinks. It was just too much, but yeah. it was a lot of fun. I mean, we did all of. We got taken around, and her daughter drove us everywhere. It was really nice. It was. It was a very chill tour we didn't have to get out of the car too much so that was nice yeah that was nice and yeah. so we saw shenley park we saw yeah. kathy we saw you know yeah um you know the cathedrals we saw the um, bubble yeah, yeah we the saw bubble the athletic area. space cardiac and... hill mm -hmm. um, oh my god that shit and i took a i took another video of another hill we went down oh my god i, I think we scared ourselves because it was so freaking it was narrow. like this <laughs> and then like it's two ways it's fucking crazy. somebody drove past us and had to uh had do to put the, in their mirror because yes, they we're so close mm -hmm. i thought they hit our i thought they hit her window, yeah. her mirror, but no. No, because they had clothes. They oh had, my gosh, it was crazy. Shadow, whatever, yeah. So again, it's very hilly here, very hilly, along yes. with, and all the bridges. So mm -hmm. the bridges are beautiful, but we didn't really get a lot of pictures of that. So no, we, mm, that's too bad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we did. No, we didn't. I think all we did was from the rooftop, we posted some stuff. Yeah. That's as no. close as we did, but you know, we didn't really do anything else. But again, this is not going to be the last time we come. Yeah. But, you know, we wanted to show, we wanted to bring you on our, our road trip. Yeah. We wanted to kind of share some of the cultural aspects that we learned um, that this is Iron City for a reason. Yeah. You know, and um, there's a lot of rich history here. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of different neighborhoods in Pittsburgh. We're talking about the Deutschland areas. We're talking about... Um, oh, South Side. South side and north side and the differences between, you know, whatever side um, yeah. you go to. Um, so there's yeah. a lot of history here. I would say, I call Pittsburgh charming. Um, I wouldn't say quaint, I wouldn't say pretty, but I would say charming. The people are charming. Yeah. Um, the architectural is all over the place. Right. Um, we saw neoclassical, we saw, I don't know, for architecture, there's everything under the sun. Um, yeah, there really is. It's very mismatching. You know, it is mismatching, but it's it's so it's charming. Yeah, I, everyone that we met was really sweet and really nice, right. and mm -hmm. um, we want to come back. Absolutely, I mean, that's that's yeah. the feeling we have. We want to come back. Yeah. So um, the roads were the were were a bummer because the roads are terrible. Oh, but awful. Um, but that's. You know, so I mean, you can find terrible roads in other Anywhere, places yeah. too. Um, but the only downside were the the lantern flies flying everywhere. Those your, things were killing me. Hair and your yeah all over you mm -hmm. and oh my god. They were looking for her. They were. The first time we went up to the rooftop, they were all over her, <laughs> following me around. So <laughs> they were. They really were. I was like, yeah, go to her, cause I we're not we're not fucking around with each other. I can't, <laughs> can't do those fucking things. Yeah, and literally they're like, they're invasive, so they have to spray everything, um, and they keep having to use the air air blowers mm -hmm. to try and get rid of. I mean, it's it, when we say it's bad, it, it there's just no words for how bad it is. The door that we come in on the side by the parking. Oh my god, it's like they love to fuck with people because they literally all fight in there. Oh, yeah. it's so Congregate gross. towards that door. 
Yeah. Oh my god. And then when you walk in, right, the dead ones come in too. When you like walk in, they're all over. So you know what? We really want your interaction with us. Please tell us if you know of other places in Pittsburgh that we can visit the next time we're up here. Um, we want to hear from you. We want to hear what your experiences with Pittsburgh is also. You know, what your what you found to be cultural differences coming to a different place and and checking things out. Um, we also want to know if it made you happy or sad or if um, you know, certain aspects made you scared or angry for some reason. I mean, can't. That wasn't our experience, so we we don't know. But we want to hear from you and what you thought of your experience. Yeah, no, I think it's really fun to, and we wanted to make this one of those like fun ones because again, we talk about really heavy stuff, and we want to be able to do this. Cause it's all about like how Leslie says, right? Like self cares and selfish. And this was one of those things that, and again, right? We were very intentional about coming here and not only seeing her daughter, but like sharing with you guys, mm -hmm. like, this is what we want to do. This is why culture is such a big thing for the both of us. And I know we've said it on our TikToks and stuff, but these are the things that we really um, want to share because it is self care for us. I. Just as much as Leslie loves yes. traveling, I do too. And I think it's it's so much fun to be able to explore different cultures. I know we're within, even just the East Coast is one thing. And you start talking about the West Coast and everywhere in between. like, And then we're going to very quickly, at the end of this year, we're going to be in... Um, New Orleans. Yeah, we're going to be in New Orleans. And so that's going to be fun. Like, we're just really, we want to take you guys on these adventures with us. And then we're yes. going to be on the boat, which is going to be so much fun. Yep, and um, we're going to all sorts of places there. Yeah. And we're taking you with us. Yeah, so these are just, this is the beginning. And this is a lot of the posts that we've been doing. It's very intentional so that we can share these experiences with you all. And talk about how these things really are self-care and self-love and really being intentional with yourself and finding because a lot of people don't like traveling some people genuinely find it more stressful to think about traveling than and they don't do it but for us like it's a culture um it's a culture thing and it's about learning other cultures but it's also exploring new spaces and I, I love learning the new words and the stories behind pierogies here and how they do all those things I think it's so cool and even the candy store, like, all of it was very culture. Like, they were very good about having, like, international things. Yes. They had a, um, a Sanrio mystery box, a Hello Kitty, and then had, like, a Japanese theme one. It, yes. They had everything. And then had all the pickles. They had the fudge, the chocolates. Like, even within the candy store, it was very culture, culturally, like, aware if you look around. And it was just a lot of fun. Like, those things for us are very important to share and... We will continue to find the next the next place we could go for a weekend and share with you guys. And you guys can definitely give us suggestions if there's somewhere along the East Coast that would be really cool to go check out. Um, yeah, we were thinking of yeah. Vermont for for one. You know, I've never been to Vermont. I don't think I've gone anywhere north past New York. I don't think I've ever. I've been to Canada, but that was a long time ago. Yeah. I don't know if that counts in any way, but. Yeah, we're just looking to travel a little bit and see if you guys have suggestions. Yeah, and if you want us to come visit you, we will. So make those suggestions and take us around so we can learn new things and new cultures and bring it out. Absolutely. Talk about how culture um, can actually, you know, we can be united yeah. by culture rather than divided. Absolutely. And I think that's one of the things that I find fascinating. Absolutely. Um, but we also plan on traveling like overseas sometimes oh, too. Goodness. So we're not just talking about in the United States. We are talking a global concept of mental health and oh. culture and cultural concepts. So uh, we want to learn more. Oh, always. Yeah. Always. We are more. students at heart and I think it, we can have fun while still learning. And I think that's what makes it even more fun because then we do get to take in a lot of different people's words and culture and food and it's just everything. I think yeah. it's all so much fun to explore. Yep. Oh, you also got your ears done, didn't you? Oh yeah, I posted them already. Yeah. I got, yes. well, I had my tragus, both of them, I had them pierced like four years ago. 
I think it was like right before the, nope, it was in 2019 I got them done and then they fell out. And then I just, she was able to just put them back in. And they fell out a while ago, but it, I love piercings. And we've been talking about a tattoo and we didn't have a chance yeah. to get to do it. We didn't have a chance, but, but we will. We will. We will, we will, we will look will. into that because we both have tattoos. So yes. we love stuff like that. So if we start, if you start seeing new things, don't you worry, you're going to come with us and you'll be able to see the whole process. Yes. Yeah. I think that's mm -hmm. it for today. I think so. I yeah. think that was our whole trip, and we will be doing lunch with her daughter before we leave. We're having sushi now, so oh, we're, we've done so Thai, sad. we've done Mexican. Mm -hmm. um, we've also had, what did, did we have sweets somewhere? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. We've gone on this trip. Or just the waffle. Yeah, the waffle. Oh, God, the waffle. <laughs> um, yes. And then... Um, yeah, so we're going to do sushi this time. We are before we hit the road, and we will take you on the road as well. We will be making sure we take pictures this time and post it of the bridges if we see any. And then the yeah. welcome to Virginia or welcome to Pittsburgh pictures that we didn't take. Yeah, we didn't take We any. got in the car. We started talking, and then it was, and then we were here. Yeah, it was that fast. It felt like it was like. Yeah, she was like. <laughs> Oh, we're almost there. And I was like, oh, well, shit, we are. And I'm turning, and I'm like, oh, so we're, we're in here already. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. So it's fun. It's fun yeah. times, and we will continue to have these conversations with you guys. But feel free to let us know yes. anything for Pittsburgh next time, anything for maybe a next kind of place. We can definitely do that, too. Yeah, we want to hear from you. Let us know. All right. Well, that was fun. Um, yep. we will see you guys next soon, I guess. All right, we'll take care. Bye. See ya.